It was a dramatic sight early this morning in South Philadelphia after a 30 inch water main burst in the middle of the night. Water spewing into the air and gushing through several streets. And that water had no place to go, ending up in people's basements as well as businesses, causing plenty of damage inside. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson has the latest from the scene. Joining us live now with an update. The repair work will continue for some time, Becca. It will, Nidia, and it's a dangerous situation and a messy one for both crews and the neighborhood. Where I'm standing hours ago turned into a river. It all came from this, this massive crater in the ground left from that water main break. Neighbors compared it to a river rupturing from the ground and flowing through South Philadelphia. Basically rapids at the corner of 6th and Bainbridge. The water, may, the water was coming out with such force, it was like a white water gusher. Alicia DiBernardo is left with water in her basement that soaked valuables. The same can be said of neighbors and businesses nearby. It's been a tough couple of, you know, uh, years, you know, for us with the, with the pandemic. And this is kind of the last thing that I think a lot of people need. The water department says the 30 inch main, which is 130 years old, broke about 1245 Sunday morning. Firefighters went door to door telling people to shelter in place. The street was too dangerous. It was like a bomb going off in my lower level. Two big gigantic glass windows burst in and the water came in like literally a waterfall. I started hearing like this gurgling sound coming from my bathroom and I went to see what it was. At first it was nothing, but I mean about five minutes later, like the water started like exploding from the from the bathroom. Rob Sizowitz lives in his basement. His bedroom is under three feet of water. I think two sources of water downstairs, I'm sure did not help the situation. It's actually Rob's birthday too. He's uh, devastated about his home here on six and Bainbridge. Crews continue to pump water out of this crater, but I can tell you we've been here for hours now and it doesn't necessarily look like it's going down this cleanup is going to take a long time and people and businesses on this street have a long road to recovery ahead of them. Live in South Philadelphia, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News, guys. Yeah, we feel so sorry for all the folks out there. Becca, thank you.